Hi, and welcome to Other Unwind. Have you ever wondered why champagne is expensive? If you go to a store, you can see that champagne is about forty to fifty dollars a bottle here in California, whereas Spanish cava or Italian prosecco are ranging from ten to twenty dollars. Even French sparkling wine. Uh, in the same section of the store with the French champagne, the price is well over. It's about $15 to $25. So what is driving the champagne price high? Is it just a marketing thing or uh, the hype of champagne driving the price? The answer is yes and no. There are other factors and other considerations in the price of a bottle of champagne. And in this video, I will try to discuss what these factors are. The first reason why champagne is expensive is the location where champagne is produced. Champagne is produced in the Champagne region, 45 minutes north and east of Paris. It's a great location because it's far north in the northern hemisphere. And so the climate is cool with an average temperature of 50 degrees and it enables the grapes to reach really high acidity, which is important for Champagne. However, as it's so far north, it creates a lot of challenging for winemakers. It's really not uncommon for the grapes to suffer from frost or hail during winter or spring, so producers need to be used to lose a lot of the grapes. As an example, in 2017, there were a few days of frost in the late April, so once the vines are, have bloomed, and therefore all wine regions in France were really affected in 2017 by these late frost. And in Champagne, it resulted in the loss of 20 to 25% of all Champagne grapes. If we compare uh, France climate and Champagne climate to France and Italy, where Cava and Prosecco are produced, the conditions are way different. First of all, uh, Spain and Italy are a sauce of France and where they produce uh, grapes for Prosecco and Cava, the latitude is way more southerly, so way warmer, and the grapes are less prone to L and frost, and so the producer are not losing as many grapes as in France. Second, French champagne producer are grape growers as to handpick their grapes during harvest. So by law, uh, machine harvesting is forbidden in France, whereas in many other countries in, in the world, especially in the new world, uh, machine harvesting, even if a little more aggressive than hand harvesting, made a lot of progress in the last few decades and it's a way to lower the cost. In France, as they have to handpick the grapes for producing champagne, the, it's labor intensive and it's driving higher costs. Third, Champagne is made out of dozens of steel wines from different locations, from different grapes, Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, and Pinot Meunier, and different vintages. Therefore, wine producers need to ferment and store dozens of different wines. And in addition to that, they also ferment their white wine in oak barrels and a new oak barrel only holds about 59 gallons and costs between $1,000 and $1,500. Fourth, uh, Champagne is known for its brioche or toast flavors. Those flavors come from time spent on the so-called lees. Uh, lees are yeast that are broken down. By law, in order to get these toast flavor or brioche flavors, the minimum time the wine need to spend on its lees is 12 months in Champagne. Whereas in Cava in Spain, for Cava in Spain, the minimum required time is nine months, shorter, so cheaper. And for Prosecco, there is no minimum time. So Prosecco is made with uh, different grapes, which is Galera, which is a very um, aromatic grapes and through a different technique. It's not made like Cava through the traditional champagne technique. It's made, done with a different second fermentation. And as Glera is very aromatic, that's why it's a different method because 
wine producer don't want to impart any flavor of toast or brioche in their wines and want to keep the flavor, the very aromatic flavors of the Glera grape. So Champagne is spending more time on its lees and it's not uncommon that to go way beyond the minimum 12 months. A lot of producers, even for non-vintage Champagne, uh, age their wine for two or three years and so it's way more expensive that producing a Prosecco it, that only takes a few weeks to prepare or a Cava that will only take one year to prepare. The fifth reason is the tiny bo bubbles that Champagne's is known for. So for all sparkling wine, you need to have a second fermentation because uh, carbon dioxide is a byproduct of fermentation. And so you need to try to initiate a second fermentation in one specific vessel and trap this carbon dioxide. For Prosecco, as you don't want to time to spend on these leaves and impart any other flavor than the grapes, they can do the second fermentation in big stainless steel tanks. And so the cost to produce Prosecco and the second fermentation is way cheaper than producing Cava or Champagne. For Cava and Champagne, the producer are initiating the second, second fermentation in the individual bottle that you will buy at the store. So they need to store all these bottles and they can't store the champagne in bulk. That has an extra cost. And second, as to do the or create, start the second fermentation, you need yeast. That's when they put yeast and sugar in the bottle and then the yeast are dying and that's the so-called lees, but in the final product, you don't want these lees. So they will have to slowly remove these yeast, dead yeast from the bottle. And it's done by either turning the bottle by end or having big machines will do the job for them. And this process calls, called riddling, which is an additional cost. Whereas for Prosecco, you just remove the liquid from the tank and leave the lees in the tank. So it's the, the, the yeast are removed by filtration. So that's kind of the fifth reason why uh, champagne is expensive. And so, but that's also why theoretically Cava should be more expensive than Prosecco because it also needs these second fermentation in the bottle that have extra costs. So all of these five reasons being the location, the fact that you handpick the grapes and all the processes that needs to be done to produce champagne explains why champagne is so expensive. If you don't want to go for a non-vintage champagne and you go for a vintage champagne, it takes a producer eight, up to eight to 10 years to produce a vintage champagne made out of exceptional grapes. And that explains why vintage champagnes are so expensive, but so delicious. That's it for this video about champagne cost. I hope you enjoyed it. As usual, you can uh, let me know what is your favorite Prosecco? What is your favorite Cava? Do you like champagne over Prosecco or Cava? Or what is your favorite wine or winery? You can also let me know what you want me to discuss next, and you can subscribe to this channel. If you're interested in learning more about wine, wine tasting, classes, you can go to my Facebook page, Orderly Wines. As usual, enjoy your wines, but drink responsibly. Take care. Cheers.